The B650M Plus Wi-Fi by ASUS is a micro ATX motherboard from their Tough Gaming lineup. It is one of the first B650 motherboards to hit the market for AMD's new socket AM5 platform for Ryzen 7000 CPUs. The B650 chipset omits a few features from X670, such as PCI Express 5.0 NVMe support, as well as additional PCI Express lanes. This generation also has B650 Extreme and X670 Extreme motherboards, which essentially add extra PCI Express 5.0 lanes, while the non-extreme variants have PCI Express 4.0. However, to make it a little more confusing, PCI Express 5.0 NVMe storage is actually optional on B650 non-extreme boards, and in the case of the B650M Plus, it comes equipped. Looking in the box, we find your typical accessories, we have a Wi-Fi antenna, some screws to secure M.2 SSDs, a user manual, some stickers, and a warranty sheet. Looking at the features and specs, it comes with a B650 chipset as the model name implies. It supports up to 4 DDR5 DIMMs for a total of 128GB of system memory. It has one PCI Express 4.0x16 slot from the CPU, one PCI Express 4.0x4 slot by 16 in length from the chipset, and one PCI Express 4.0 by one slot. In terms of storage, the board has two M.2 slots with support for 42, 60, or 80 millimeter SSDs. The top slot supports up to PCI Express Gen 5, while the bottom slot tops out at Gen 4. Additionally, there are four SATA 6 gigabit ports to accommodate any additional storage. Both the M.2 and SATA drives support RAID 1, 0, or 10. Taking a look at connectivity, we find a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port with a Realtek controller, as well as Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth version 5.2. It has support for up to 6 PWM fans, each header supporting 1 amp or 12 watts, and it features a dedicated AIO pump header should you need it. While the board lacks onboard lighting, it still has you covered if RGB is your thing. There is one 12 volt R RGB header and three ARGB Gen 2 headers. Something a little unexpected is the inclusion of a Thunderbolt header to support the Thunderbolt EX4 add-in card. This is a nice touch if you have a lot of external devices or benefit from high-speed external storage. The add-in card is sold separately. The rear I.O. is representative of today's standard. We find a DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.1, 4 USB 2.0 ports, 1 USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, 2 USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port. We also have 7.1 audio by Realtek featuring jack detection and almost hidden from sight, a BIOS flashback button. Building with this board is fairly straightforward. AM5 uses an LGA socket, so be careful when installing the CPU. As for everything else though, the install is pretty typical and the toolless SSD latches are a nice touch. The SSD I used has an integrated heatsink though the board does come with an M.2 heatsink to provide additional cooling if your SSD lacks one. The BIOS has all the features you would expect to find and is easy to navigate in advanced mode. Turning on Expo, AMD's version of XMP for memory, is a few clicks and done. Going a little more in depth, you can adjust anything to do with performance boost overdrive, including the curve optimizer to squeeze out some free performance, as well as your traditional overclocking options. It also has ASUS's Q-Fan tuning, which I've always been a fan of, no pun intended. I was able to overclock my Ryzen 7 7700X to 5.3 GHz at 1.3 volts, completely stable, so I think this board is more than enough unless you are overclocking a 7950X and demanding a lot of power from the VRMs. It does feature a nice size heatsink to help with VRM cooling, but this board is not focused on extreme overclocking, but rather a balance between price and performance for the features included. Speaking of price, this board came in at $229.99, but I got $20 off for purchasing a bundle at Micro Center. Overall, compared to the competition, I think it is a pretty good value. It features four memory slots, built-in Wi-Fi 6, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, and PCI Express 5.0 M.2, which are the things that will help keep your system up to date going forward, since AM5 is a new platform and the CPU upgrade path should keep it around for years to come. M.2 SSD latches, QLED for post-diagnosis, and BIOS flashback are a few little things that you might not find on other boards but are appreciated. Based on my experience with the Tough Gaming B650M Plus Wi-Fi, 
I would not hesitate to recommend it to someone considering a new AM5 build. 